Are you guys doing that? Yeah. It's good. I have a, I have a manual and another manual. I'm trying to sell I have one copy of each. One of them is for how to write a joke, and the second one is for how to write dialogue and monologue. So I mean, like, get a hold of me or whatever. Oh, sorry. All right. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. Uh, start a business, I'm going to think ahead about it, right? I'm going to charge people for a receipt. I can say, you want a receipt with that receipt? I can hit them with a three for one, or with however many I can hit them with. Sources are saying that a second whistleblower has stepped forward. That's right. A second person who was going to be raped has grabbed a rape whistle and has stepped forward and blown into it much as they otherwise would have had to have blown it and they're rapists. Wouldn't it suck if you were going to get raped and you reached for your rape whistle but all you had was a harmonica? You'd always have to try to win them over with the blues. I, I heard on the radio that uh, the power grids were attacked at an Oktoberfest celebration in Southern California. And I thought, have they considered the possibility that maybe it was drugs? I know it probably wasn't, but it's just a question I have to ask. It's like when you lose your glasses and people go, well, where did you last see them? <laughs> Anybody here uh, ever lost a parent? Yeah, losing a parent sucks, right? Anybody, anybody lost their, one of their parents? No? No, that's, all right. Well, uh, I was just going to say, if anybody's lost their parent, I want to know. If you could have sex with your deceased parent, but it meant that they would be alive, like they could get to live again, would you do it? Huh? Right? I don't know, because I have, I lost my mom, but I don't, like, I don't, I don't know if I would do it, right? I want to hear, I want to hear, like, uh, I don't know your take on it. I guess I'm the only one here that's lost a parent. All right, that's all right. That's good. <laughs> we used to joke around that uh, back in school we had a penis inspection day, right? But I found that as I grew older, I couldn't really joke about it as much uh, because people didn't really take the joke as, as well, right? Like, uh, I'll tell you, that new teacher faculty really didn't appreciate that uh, training orientation meeting. <laughs> There's this song that goes, uh, it's impossible to tell a baby not to cry. But I don't know, I think that's kind of discriminatory. You're kind of presupposing that all babies are unreasonable. I think maybe there's like a baby out there that you go, hey baby, how come you're crying, right? What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing crying over here like this? Put yourself together. And the baby goes, hey, I'm sorry, all right? I just get kind of emotional sometimes. It's nothing. <laughs> it took me over 20 years to understand the sexual connotation of the phrase, let's blow this popsicle stand. So now whenever anybody says it, I go, no, let's uh, go eat all the clams on the beach. <laughs> I went and saw that movie, The Joker. I guess it's called Joker, right? Like, it's the guy's first name. I saw Joker, and I had to take a piss, but uh, I didn't get up, and neither did anybody else during the whole movie. If there's any movie that you might get in serious trouble for getting up and coming back in, that's, it's that, that's that movie, right? Like, uh, I don't know if the movie didn't really do it for me, right? I think that if there was someone that did that, I don't think society would just call them The Joker, right? They'd come up with a different name. Like, I don't know, it's not like we don't have examples of that to look at and see that it's not what it's like. We don't call John Wayne Gacy the Joker or the Jester or the Clown or anything. We call him John Wayne Gacy, right? Like, uh, I don't know, I feel like with comic book villains, they have a theme, but it's always really cliche, right? It's, not, it's always like uh, jesters or freezing or they wear question marks, right? It's never like uh, that they bind and torture and kill like a real serial killer's theme, right? I think they just need to make more comic book villains that are similar to real life villains to show people how bad it really is out there, right? Like make a porno themed villain. 
call him Jackulator, right? He uh, kills and then he jerks off at the scene of the crime. And then he uh, robs you, right? He jacks you later, right? It's terrible. The superhero has to stop it. I saw a 3D movie that was so 3D that it was a play. I think the light flashed, so I'm going to get out of here. I have more, but I'll save it. You guys have a good one, all right? Keep it going for one and a half.